Okay, elsewhere on the site is uh, a video that introduces the terminology for tax um, using financial accounting as a reference point. So if you haven't watched that, I'd recommend going back and watching that first. But here what I want to do is just go a little bit deeper into um, what these things are. And so one source of confusion will be the difference between deductions and credits. So deductions are, for the most part, expenditures. So again, remember the, the analog to um, financial accounting is the expenses. So it's usually an outflow of money that reduce, as you can see from the equation, taxable income. So essentially what, they're, what the government is saying is we will participate in this expense. Um, we think it's worthy of our participation and so we'll participate in the expense. We will pay a certain portion of it by reducing the amount of tax that you, um, or amount of income that you will then be taxed on. Credits are just a little bit different. Usually they are expenditures but they're not always. Sometimes you get credits just for being who you are um, as we'll look at in very shortly. So they're usually expenditures and what they do is they, what happened there, is they reduce tax payable. Okay, so both of them have the same sort of net effect that it, it, that they are going to reduce the amount of tax that is ultimately paid, but it's important to note that the deduction reduces taxable income, credit reduces the actual tax paid. So I thought what we would do to try to solidify some of this stuff is to look at an actual tax return um, of a very very simple person so not the person is simple but their scenario is simple so this person is going to be single and they're gonna have sixty thousand dollars of salary as their income and their only income they're gonna spend a thousand dollars on union dues and they're gonna spend twelve hundred dollars hundred dollars a month on a transit pass so what we're going to do is just walk through their the, this person's tax return, um, not in great detail, but just to get some idea of of again how this income deductions and credits all go into coming up with how much tax is paid. So here's the first page of the tax return. Um, we won't fill much of this in. Uh, well, let's give the person a name. How about Justin Bieber? So Justin Bieber, we're doing his tax return for uh, 2011. Pretty sure he had more than $60,000 of salary, but for now we'll assume that's all he had. So the rest of this is all just information that we will skip over because it has nothing to do with the calculation of his tax payable. But then here we're asked for his income. So again, remember that in, in our world, or at least in the financial accounting world, we usually think of this as, as revenue, inflows but we use the term income here. So we know that he had employment income of $60,000. He had none of these other things. You can see all these other sources of income he could have had, um, which he didn't, and so his total income is $60,000. So then we come down to the next page, to the, or to this, and here what we're gonna be doing is entering his deductions. So these are expenses that he had that the government has said, okay, we're going to participate in those. And so you see here, one of those is annual dues, or sorry, union dues. So he gets a thousand dollar deduction for that. And so his net income is $59,000. But it's important to note all the things that are not here. So he spent, I'm sure, a lot of money on clothes and just doing his hair just right and uh, um, food, none of that is deductible from his taxable income. Just the thousand dollars in union dues. So then we go down further and so he's got fifty nine thousand dollars of taxable income and then they say okay so what you need to do is you need to take that number and calculate so they go to a different schedule but it's just it's just over here to calculate so this schedule says okay what we want you to do here is calculate the amount of tax you have to pay. And I'm going to do it a bit out of order just because it's, it's simpler. So I'm going to go to page two first. And what it does is say, enter your taxable income here. So now what we have here, you've probably heard the term. And if you haven't, these are the brackets. So we have income tax brackets. And what that means is you can see that 
depending on your level of income, you will pay different rates of tax. So the lowest bracket is 15, then 22, 26, and 29 percent. And so what we have to do is look here and say, okay, what did he, he his is 59, so that's between 41 and 83, so we're going to fill in $59,000 here. What this is, this number here is uh, the 6232 is 41544 times 15 percent. And what that is, says everybody who makes up to 41544 is going to pay that amount of tax. So what you have to do is you have to pay tax on the difference. And the difference turns out to be, or you have to pay tax sorry, at the higher rate on the difference. That turns out to be $17,456 dollars with a rate of 22 percent applied to it we get three eight four zero and thirty two cents we add those two numbers up and we get ten thousand and seventy two dollars and thirty two cents so that's the amount of tax that he has to pay um, but now we talk, want to talk about credits. So that that is his, it, when we go back uh, to look at the top, that's the amount of tax that he would have to pay before credits. But now we'll go back to page one of the schedule and figure out what credits is he entitled to. Well, every person in the, in the country can earn $10,527 without paying any tax. And so every person gets a credit for that amount. I don't know why they don't fill this in for everybody, but they want you to write it. So you write 10527. Then you look and say, okay, what else is the government going to help me with by reducing the amount of tax that I have to pay? Well, as it turns out, they like to help with people who, who use public transit. They like to incentivize people to say, okay, I'll do that instead of driving a car. And so they give you $1,200 credit. That, well, the credit isn't $1,200, the amount that you can include in the calculation of the credit. So our total credits are the basic amount plus our uh, transit pass. We multiply that by 15% to get 17,5905. Now the question is why that 15? Well, if you remember, 15 is the lowest, the rate of the lowest bracket. So what they're doing here is they're saying what we want to do is we want to help you with your transit pass, but we only want to help you at the lowest rate. The union dues that reduced this fifty-nine thousand dollars by by a uh, thousand, so his sixty thousand income by a thousand to get it to fifty-nine saved him twenty-two percent, whereas his transit pass saved him fifteen. So that's why they use credits and deductions. They they want in for uh, fairness, they want everybody to get the same benefit of things like transit passes, etc. And you can see all the other things here that qualify for credits. Deductions, they want to, to it can vary by your income level. Okay, so let's just uh, go back and fill this in quickly. So we're going to have, uh, we'll just sum this up and say uh, we have $10,000 of tax and we have a credit of $1,759. Uh, sorry, it's 1759. Let's put it here. And so our tax that we're going to get to is 8313. Okay, so this now, this amount now is going to go back to our tax return. So we'll go back to it and say, okay, we went to your Schedule 1 and we came up with 8313. So I'm ignoring provincial tax for now, but it's it's a it's a very simple thing that just flows out of here. So we'll ignore it for now and say okay so my tax payable is 8313 and this is the amount that I owe to the government, sorry not I but Justin Bieber owes to the government. So let's just take a quick look at, at uh, rates before we finish this up. So 8313 divided by sixty thousand dollars of income gives us thirteen point nine percent. So what that means is on his average dollar of income his average tax rate is 14 percent. So that's lower than the 15 which is the lowest rate in the country. But his marginal rate which is we need to really um, figure out what the difference is and solidify the difference between these two things is think about it I won't go back to the schedule two but it's 22 percent. What that tells us is if he had earned sixty thousand dollars sixty thousand and one dollars he would have paid twenty two cents more of tax not fourteen his average rate but twenty two 
So those two rates, we'll, we'll spend a lot of time solidifying those, but just want to introduce those here. So let me just go back and summarize. I mean, this form is, I think, six total pages long and looks all complicated. Let's just go back and make sure we understand in this simple context how Justin Bieber's situation went. His income was $60,000. He was had one thousand dollars that were deductible, so his taxable income was fifty nine thousand dollars. His rate was a combination of fifteen and twenty two, so that got us to this. I think it was ten seven two of tax payable. Sorry, that goes here. And then he had these credits. Whoops, sorry. And then he had these credits of seventeen fifty nine to get him down to the amount of tax that he owed the government of eight three one three. Okay, so hopefully this helps uh, to uh, give a very, very simple look at how this all works.